Michael Cheek with MikesGuitarLessons.com. This is the third video for Soul to Squeeze by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, if you want the rest of the videos, I have I have the first video here on YouTube as well. I've got the third video I'm going to put up here. Uh, just as a thank you to uh, one of my subscribers that reminded me that I hadn't finished the song, so I'm going to finish it and um, put it up here on YouTube. It's also going to be on my um, website at mikesguitarlessons.com. All the links you need to click if you're watching this on YouTube are down below. Twitter, Facebook, uh, main website, all that stuff. So, we're going to have to waste time doing that. Let's go ahead and get started with the song. This being the third video, we're actually covering the rhythm for the verse of the song. So we've done the entire intro riff in the first uh, two videos. Now we're doing the rhythm, okay? So, as you can see, we're going to go through a few chords here. You need to know your F bar chord and then your we're going to use a C suspended 2 here. Then it's going to go to a D minor and then it's going to go to a B flat major 7 which is just a small change. So if you already know these chords you can zip through this lesson pretty easily by just uh, checking out these chords and putting them in where you need. After that, B flat uh, major 7, then we're going back to the D minor. Then we're going to an F, but it's a bar chord up here. Oops. There we go. I included an extra note there. And then a uh, the C chord down here, bar chord. And then a uh, G minor 7. And at the very end, G minor 7, 9. Okay? Now, um, if you're good at the guitar already, you can go ahead and use those chords to play along with the rhythm. Um, if you need a little help, watch the rest of this video, okay? I'm going to walk you through just playing the rhythm, but also we're going to add in a couple of notes that the bass guitar plays. So if you're playing by yourself, it sounds a little more full and not just rhythm strummed over and over again, okay? All right. Now, uh, we're going to start again with the F chord. Okay, this is your F chord. Check out my chord library on YouTube or on the website um, if you don't know some of these chords. Here's an F chord. Okay, and what you're going to do is start off holding that F chord and then hit two bass notes here on the thick E string. Just like that. Then you're going to strum the whole chord. Alright, then we're going to go from that F chord up to, we're going to go up to the third fret with our first finger on the thick E string, play that, then hammer with your third finger on the fifth fret of the E string. And then with your first finger, go up here. We're about to land our first C variation chord, but you're going to play that third fret of the A string with your first finger, okay? So it's going to go. Okay, so two of the third frets on the uh, A string, that's a C note. Now, I'm not going to play a full C major here. I'm going to do a C suspended 2. C will work, but if you want to get real accurate with it, the C suspended 2 will be the best one. So, what you're going to do is bar cross all five strings, A string through the skinny E string. Third finger is going to go on the fifth fret of the D string. Pinky is going to go on the fifth fret of the G string. Bar everything else, uh, A through the skinny E string. Okay? That's your C sus2, or C suspended2, okay? So you're going... Alright? Hit those bass notes, and then strum the chord once. Then you gotta leave to hit, hit the uh, next chord. So on the next part, you're gonna go... So what that is, is 5th uh, fret on the A string, hammer down to 7th fret on the A string, Back to fifth two times. So, and lay down your D minor chord. You can find this one in the chord library as well. A D minor bar chord. Okay, so let's go that far. All right now, as soon as you strum through that whole D minor chord. This is switching to your B major 7. If you didn't know how to play that chord, because it is a little bit uncommon, um, the only change you're doing is going from the D minor, pick up that bar, that first finger, come over here and play the 6th fret on the thick E string. That actually changes it to the B major 7. 
or sorry, B flat major seven. Okay, so you're gonna go. And that's what I do on my rhythm on that part. So I hit that bass note. One and two and, just like that. Then I go back. This is for the second part of the rhythm. You're going to go back to the D minor uh, bar chord. Just like that. Bum, bum, bum. Then you're going to go up here. It's an F chord, but we're not going to play this one again. We're going to do this formation up here. Okay? So you're going to, first finger, if you don't know this one, first finger is in the eighth fret of the A string. Third finger bars across the uh, tenth fret of the D, the G, and the B string. Okay? You're going to mute the two outside strings. Okay? So just like that from the D minor. As soon as you get to that one, just start going up and down with it. Okay? So... here, same formation, slide it down to 3rd and 5th fret for a C chord. Strum one time. You can kind of keep the rhythm going if you want to. Sometimes I do that. But strum it uh, one time will work. And then wait until it's time to play. You'll hear the rhythm. Um, you can match it up with what I played at the beginning of the video too. But uh, you're going to play a G minor 7. Okay, so that's barring across the 3rd fret all the way across, then 3rd finger on the A string and the 5th fret. That's your G minor 7. Okay, then let the pressure up so that chord stops, and then take your pinky and put it on the 5th fret of the skinny E string. Okay, and that's going to be the ninth that we're adding in there, so G minor 7, 9. And you're going to be playing that chord twice, muting in between, so it's going to sound like... Okay. You can tell all I'm doing is letting up pressure with my left hand, but not pulling my fingers all the way off. So that stops the chord from playing. Okay? And then you start over. And you're going to repeat this throughout the song um, many, many times. So you're going to get a lot of mileage out of this. If you want to watch me play with the entire song, um, you know, use the tabs that I have already written out for the actual song if you need tabs. Check out the website again. but. Um, here's a quick little practice for this section, okay? I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Here we go. Ready? Go. variations throughout this as you repeat it over and over again is kind of what makes the song more interesting anytime you're playing rhythm. So uh, make sure that you change it up a little bit. You don't always have to do these. Um, quick note too, if you don't want to do all the extra little bass notes and everything, you don't have to. You can just go through here and just go. And it'll sound just fine with it if you're um, not ready to tackle all the extra bass notes and everything. Okay, um, that's the end of this lesson. Uh, stay tuned for lesson four. And if you have any questions with the lesson, email me at feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com. Thanks for watching.